have a rare look inside Apple. 30 years ago, the company launched its groundbreaking Super Bowl ad, launching the Macintosh and revolutionizing commercials during the big game. And David Muir has the exclusive with the CEO. Yeah, nothing what? like showing up and having the CEO tell you, I need to upgrade my iPhone. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the, the first thing he said. Yeah. Can you believe it? Did he give you one? I, he didn't give me one, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, I got to get in line. <laughs> but this morning, we do ask Tim Cook about just about everything, from the first Mac made in America again to all that talk about secrecy inside Apple. Is there really black cloth draped over all of their secret projects? 30 years ago today, America beats the Mac. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. Steve Jobs had his trademark unveiling. Now I'd like to show you Macintosh in person. Happy anniversary, I should say. <laughs> yes. We were invited inside Apple to sit down with a man Steve Jobs handpicked to lead Apple after him. Tim Cook gets up every morning at 3.45. You get emails uh, from customers every single day and you read them? Yes, I do. I do. And, and these, this is a privilege. How many do you think you read a day, Tim? Oh, I, I get probably seven or eight hundred, and I read the majority of those. Every day? Every day. Every day. I'm a workaholic, <laughs> which, which helps. His team laughs, but it's true and infectious. I mean, I knew the moment I saw the Mac in, in 84 that someday I'd work at Apple. We were working on something that was going to change the way that people interacted with computers. Secrecy is part of the culture. It's part of the excitement it of is. Apple, too, is it not? It is. You know, you know, we believe fundamentally that people love surprises. There are stories of black drapes over products in development. <laughs> True? Yes. There's black drapes and numerous locked doors and uh, many other things. And employees who can't even tell their families at home what they're working yes. on. Yes, that's true. My wife has no idea. What are you, a Navy SEAL? <laughs> <laughs> so for the viewers who are saying, David, you got to go find out what the next thing is. <laughs> Your badge probably wouldn't work in those rooms. <laughs> Everyone looking for clues with a little help from Tim Cook himself, who's now on Twitter. Let me ask you about a, a tweet that I love. Recently tweeting, we have begun manufacturing the Mac Pro in Austin. It's the most powerful Mac ever. But what we noticed was Austin, Texas. You're making computers here in America. We are. How big of a deal is that to you? It's a big deal, but we think we can do more. We, we also announced at a huge investment in Arizona. We haven't said what it's for. Is uh, it the Sapphire Glass? It's the Sapphire uh, uh, announcement, and that's sort of all I'll say about it. When does that glass come off the line? I, I can't tell you that. For bigger iPhone screens? I, I can't tell you that either. <laughs> An iWatch? It's for a ring. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> I tried, Robin. Yeah, I, I tried. You know, that sapphire glass is a specialty glass. It can be used to protect cameras and iPhones, but many think it could be used for something more. And, Robin, tonight on World News, we're going to ask Tim Cook about the country's controversial surveillance program. He's mm. been to the White House. He's talked to the president. What he wants to reveal to the American people, Tim Cook, about the surveillance and program. And I bet he really has something to say along those plenty, lines. Plenty, plenty to say. Yeah. And uh, he says it might put American people at rest if he were able to talk. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that. a tease. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's a tease. Thank you, David. You got it.